Welcome back everyone to another vehicle guide for a ship's release with the 2952 IAE or Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. I'm Dark Hour 717 and today we're going to be taking a look at a second ship that was released at this year's IAE and one that had a lot of speculation and pre-release buzz, the Anvil C8R Pisces. Before we get into the details of this latest addition to the Pisces lineup, if you enjoy these ship guides, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps to get the videos out to more people and I really appreciate it. And for all of those that have already subscribed, I say thank you. And stick around to the end of the video to see how you can get entered in to win a Drake Cutter Starter Pack in the month of December. The Anvil Pisces has long ago proven itself as a highly effective and useful ship within the Star Citizen universe. With the ship originally being introduced as the parasite ship to the Anvil Carrick, the little shuttlecraft quickly made a name for itself outside of its original use as a viable and popular starter ship. Many citizens of Stanton use the Pisces as a daily driver for simple A to B transport, bunker raid vehicle, medical rescue beacon transport, and even box deliveries and extremely light cargo. But with this year's Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, we now have a new variant of this little runabout that builds onto the existing platform with a whole new set of skills. Dubbed the CAR Pisces Rescue, this now adds dedicated medical gameplay to its many talents. The CAR, as stated, was introduced at IAE 2952 and is available as a pledge for 60 US dollars as a war bond and 65 US dollars as a standalone ship. A variety of other paints are available for the CAR as well. In game purchase of the newest edition in the Pisces lineup will not be available until approximately 90 days as it is a newly released ship in the verse. Though based on in-game pricing of 406,000 AUEC for the C8X, it will possibly be around 410 to 500,000 AUEC once introduced for in-game purchase. The C8R Pisces Rescue is designed much like the standard C8 Pisces. Its role is basically going to be medical and its purpose is as a support ship. It features a tier 3 medical bed and is a class 1 size vessel. It's got a max crew of three consisting of a pilot, engineer, and one medical staff. The max cargo is zero as it does not have any dedicated cargo space. Its length is 13 meters, width of 10 meters, and height of 3.2 meters. It's got a top SEM speed of 164 meters per second and an afterburner speed of 1,150 meters per second. And it carries 522,500 liters of hydrogen fuel and the quantum fuel capacity is going to be at 645 liters. Above and beyond its previous uses as a medical rescue beacon transport, the C8R now introduces more than just general transportation. The C8R is designed to specialize in the medical field and category. Equipped with a tier 3 medical bed, it now possesses the same capabilities as a Cutlass Red. Though the Cutlass Red still has the higher number of medical beds with two versus the single bed on the C8R. The C8R also offers patient personal storage as well as crew storage one jump seat for medical or engineer personnel, and the C8R is well equipped to perform its medical duties anywhere in Stanton. Equipped identical to the C8 Pisces, it comes stock with one size one stealth grade C shimmer shield generator, one size one military grade C regulus power plant, two size one military grade C bracer coolers, one size one expedition civilian grade C quantum drive, and this is gonna give you a 20 million kilometer time of four minutes and two seconds. Your transit from Crusader to Hurston is going to take you about 5 minutes and 23 seconds. And your longest trip of Microtech to Arcorp is going to run 8 minutes and 24 seconds. And none of these are actually going to require fuel stops using that Expedition Quantum Drive. Being that the C8R comes well equipped right out of the hangar, no upgrades are really recommended. Though if you wanted to mess around with them a little bit, you could, but the performance you're going to increase is not going to be drastic. The Pisces Rescue is equipped with much needed supplies to perform the medical rescues though, with an installed fridge stocked with a multitude of items. Stocked with water, med pens, oxy pens, flares, food, and other drugs, you'll find everything you need to be proficient at the medical gameplay loop. Another added bonus is that on claim, these items do appear to restock themselves as well. The layout of the Pisces is also well designed with the standard rear ramp opening up to a separated room that is similar to a decontamination space. This is where you find the interior ramp controls new for the Pisces along with the exterior button to open the ramp. 
Through the inner doors, you come to the open clinical space with the tier three medical bed on the right and the clinical supply cabinet to the left with crew and patient storage coming down from the ceiling. Moving forward, we find our one jump seat on the left with the right side jump seat seen in other Pisces replaced with a medical terminal to be used by teammates that are healing you if you're incapacitated and cannot work the controls yourself. All med bed controls do show an option for regeneration, though when you click this, it will show an error that the bed is not equipped or capable of this feature. Forward of the clinical area is of course the pilot seat. The cockpit is set up identical to other Pisces, but does have installed emergency exterior lighting that can be activated like an ambulance. The design is a cleaner and less industrial aesthetic than the standard Pisces and is very reminiscent of a modern day ambulance. The Pisces is also not without its defensive capabilities. Outfit the same as the standard C8, it comes with a pair of gimbaled size 1 CF-117 Bulldog repeaters and two Marksman 1 infrared missiles. Though you will not be taking on bounties with the C8R, you do have enough to defend yourself adequately while you plot an escape route. The handling of the Pisces is the same to all the other models. With a good in-atmosphere top speed and a fast afterburner speed, it is the perfect setup for an emergency vehicle. Fast to get on site to any needed rescue and save those contracting out for assistance. The only downfall is for those located in bunkers where the use of an STV or cyclone to drive in from outside turret range, this is not a possibility with the C8R. Where in comparison to the Cuddy Red, it is possible to get an STV in the back area of the ship. For group or org play, combining the C8R with a Carrick, you end up creating the perfect team emergency response vehicle. With the ability to fly down in larger caves where some team members may face injuries or lack of supplies, the Carrick can easily offset the lack of capabilities that the C8R has with its higher tier bed without needing to immediately be on site. The C8R can also be used with other ships including the Corsair to allow for a medical shuttle to be present when going on dangerous missions. The addition of the C8R though seeming to be a bit redundant when we have the Cuddy Red available actually makes sense. Its smaller size and greater flexibility and affordability on pledge price opens more medical gameplay to those in the verse. And once it's actually offered in game for purchase, even more I believe will take advantage of this amazing vehicle. Being also too easily to take the place of the C8 or the C8X with really only the loss of cargo space, this is really a great addition to the options available in the verse. I hope you have found this look at the Anvil C8R Pisces Rescue helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know, did you pick this up at IAE or is it something you're looking to add or not add to your fleet? And don't forget, you can catch the stream here on YouTube every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can also catch the stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time as well. And if you want to get entered in for December's giveaway of a Drake Cutter with Starter Pack, all you have to do is subscribe here, comment on any video to be entered, and you can get a second entry by heading over to Twitch and following over there. The drawing for the giveaway will take place on January 1st, 2023. And if you'd like to help support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store, hit that join button above to get a membership to the channel, or even give a super thanks. Anything is greatly appreciated and it all goes right back into our giveaways. I want to say thank you to everybody for joining me today, and I hope everyone's being safe out there, and we will catch you in the verse.